Okay, hello and uh, welcome to the uh, second stage of uh, trying out my uh, sink strainer cell. This is uh, the cell that I made in my uh, last video and uh, we're going to try it out. And uh, here I've got a nice big bucket of water which uh, is way too big to uh, really do these experiments but um, <laughs> It was the only one I could uh, find, so it'll just have to do. Um, in uh, in my first video, I had a comment um, replying about uh, using tap water and not having to add any uh, electrolyte, or uh, in uh, the case of the first video, baking soda. Um, I do agree with, with that to a point. However, it does depend a lot on uh, where you live and the quality of the tap water. Um, but as in my first video and in this one, the water is actually filtered. It is tap water, but it's filtered tap water using just a standard filter jug that you can get anywhere. The reason I've done that is because pretty much every video that I've seen uh, using tap water straight out of the tap, the water's got very dirty and very gunky very quickly. Um, because of all the just the crap in the in the water, the chemicals and metals and whatnot, and uh, and it can actually thicken the water up to the point where it actually stops the hydrogen from escaping. So this is filtered water, and you can see if I whack that in there, put that down. That there's really not much happening. There's a few bubbles, but not really much going on at all. And uh, so, if we add some electrolyte, such as baking soda, or you can use lye, um, there's quite a lot of things that people use. Uh, and you just add a bit to the water. I am using a bit more baking soda than what you would if you were using something like lye. Um, mainly because that's what a lot of people have reported, that you do need to use more. Plus, I'm using a lot more water in here than what you would normally use. And there you go, look at that, straight away. Cell is starting to fire up quite nicely. And there it is, it's a bit closer so you can see that a bit better. While we're watching this, I thought I might also just um, mention why I was actually performing some of these experiments. I'd like to say that it was, you know, for uh, wanting to change the world or have some dramatic breakthrough and all that kind of stuff, but really it's just to have a bit of fun, you know? Those other things would be great, but um, but yeah, it's really just to have a good time and, and share with other people and, um, and uh, you know, see what, uh, see what you can do at home. My uh, next uh, couple of videos will probably be uh, constructing a another cell out of actual plates of stainless steel. I'm, I'm going to pick up some stainless steel tomorrow. I've actually had a bit of a hard time trying to track some down, but uh, as I said, I'm going to grab some tomorrow and um, make another plate and um, get some more bits and pieces, such as a uh, amp meter and uh, all other stuff, and uh, I'd like to try out all different types of electrolytes and uh, in the same, you know, water, maybe use some uh, distilled water and uh, a lot of different people have got a lot of different ideas as to what the best electrolyte to use is. So I like to use all the different sorts and in the same conditions, you know, same amount of water, same amperage, same battery, and to see for myself what works best. So I uh, hope you enjoy and stay tuned.